Greetings, my comrades, and welcome back to Zonalif. Now, normally, as you guys know, my upload schedule is every other Saturday, but today is a pretty big exception as it is the 25th anniversary of the Pokemon franchise, my favorite franchise in the entire world, with maybe the exception of Star Wars. Pokemon has been such a massive part of my life, and it has helped me throughout all of my life, and it has just been a positive influence on me for my entire life. And honestly, I wouldn't be where I am today without these series, and I'm so happy I'm finally talking about it on YouTube with all of you guys. So today, I wanted to talk about all the brand new news we got in the Pokemon Presents 25th Anniversary Direct in regards to the main Pokemon games series. Now, I know my channel mainly focuses on the Pokemon anime side of things, but I also do like to touch upon the games once in a while, so today is one of those very few exceptions when I'm talking about the Pokemon game series. If you guys want me to cover the games more, please let me know in the comments down below, because I'd be more than happy to cover the games more if you guys obviously want me to. So, let's begin talking about everything we got in the Pokemon Presents 25th Anniversary Direct, starting off with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. Now, fun fact, I've never completed Sinnoh. I have started up Sinnoh a few times, but it's one of the few generations I have never completed alongside Jiro, which I'm actually currently playing right now. Pokemon Gen 4 is such a beloved generation. Honestly, I definitely think they went about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl the right way. Let me explain. I know how this remake has been formatted is kind of controversial, as people were expecting more of a modern Sword and Shield take on these Sinnoh games. However, I definitely like how they are playing it very, very safe. Because fans of the original Diamond and Pearl would probably be more upset that their original game was being disgraced by making it modern and changing up a lot of things, but instead they are getting a faithful remake of the original games, keeping the magic of the original Generation 4 games. Now, the art style is something that is completely up to preference. Personally, I really like it. It really gives me that Link's Awakening sort of vibe. I love how the environments look. The environments are absolutely beautiful and stunning. They are the best part of this entire game. I love the aesthetic of the environments. It is the character models that I am a little bit iffy on, but honestly, it will just take some time to get used to. If I can get used to Ash's Sun and Moon design, I can definitely get used to these character models in the Diamond and Pearl remakes. However, the battle animations actually look pretty good in my opinion. I think the battle trainer animation models look kind of okay, kind of iffy. Now, the thing that really stands out to me when it comes to these two remakes is that it isn't developed by Game Freak, instead it is developed by Elka Inc., the people who supposedly worked on Pokemon Home, and I know they've also worked on some games such as Nier Autonoma, and so I'm actually very happy Pokemon decided to do this change, because Game Freak has been working on so many Pokemon games, back to back to back to back, and by them finally being able to give the main series to another developer, it gives them time to work more and evolve on the main series of the Pokemon franchise, such as what we saw in Legends Arceus. And we'll get to that in a second, but I'm very happy with how the Diamond and Pearl remakes are turning out, and that is just my personal opinion. If you are disappointed and do not like these remakes, that is completely fine. That is your opinion, and you have a right to your own opinion. But for me, personally, I really like how these remakes look, how these remakes are going to be, and I'm definitely excited to pick up my copy of Brilliant Diamond in late this year. I'm just really excited to finally experience Sinnoh, and I'm really excited to experience Sinnoh in a fresh new coat of paint. Now, let's move on to the thing a lot more people were hyped about, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, where do I begin with this? A lot of people are making the jokes that it's Pokemon Breath of the Wild, but honestly, it is Pokemon Breath of the Wild. We're finally getting Pokemon Breath of the Wild, open world Pokemon. It is finally here. All the criticisms people have been having with the Pokemon franchise, you can just shove it over there now. They, 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 it's no, no. We finally have everything people have been asking for. This game looks absolutely incredible from what we have seen. It takes place in ancient Sinnoh, allowing us to go to another era in time for the Pokemon franchise, which is really, really cool. 
It's also fully open, it seems like. Now, I don't want to make assumptions, but it definitely seems like it is a fully open Pokemon game, and that gets me really, really excited. It seems like they're going to be putting in a lot more immersion into this game, such as being able to throw the Pokeballs by yourself, and also just the battles look a lot more stunning. Everything just looks a lot more refined, and the graphics are a huge step up from Pokemon Sword and Shield. I also love how the mascot of the game is RKS. We haven't gotten a game based on RKS in a... Actually, no, we have never gotten a game based on Arceus. So Arceus is finally getting its own game. And I think it is well deserving that the first open world, really evolved Pokemon game has Arceus as a mascot. And I definitely think Pokemon Legends, if the game does well, could develop into its own side series. Maybe we can get Pokemon Legends Kiram, Pokemon Legends Zygarde, Pokemon Legends the Krozma. Just... There's so much opportunity when it comes to Pokemon Legends and the evolution of the Pokemon series as a whole. I'm just so excited to see where Pokemon Legends goes and I will 110% be picking up this game in early 2021. Also, I want to focus on a little bit about the starter Pokemon, Rowlet, Synthaquil, and Oshawott. Two out of the three are some of my favorite starter Pokemon in general, but you know I gotta go with my boy Oshawott. Oshawott is my favorite Pokemon, so if I were to go with Oshawott, I'd just be doing a disgrace to myself. But I'm super excited to take my Oshawott and go explore Ancient Sinnoh in Pokemon Legends Arceus. And I'm so excited to see more updates on this game going forward into this year and next year. I definitely think that no matter what, you can't complain about what we got in the Pokemon Presents 25th Anniversary Direct. I definitely think all that we got today was absolutely stunning and gave a little bit to everyone. If you wanted a faithful retelling of the Diamond and Pearl remakes, you got that. You got a really good remake for Diamond and Pearl, maybe not in the art style you expected it to be in, but either way, you're getting that Diamond and Pearl remake people have wanted for a while, and if you were expecting a more modern Diamond and Pearl Pokemon-like experience, Pokemon Legends Arceus not only gives you that, but also is finally evolving the Pokemon main series formula, and honestly, this just gets me so excited to be a Pokemon fan. It finally feels like I can be excited again to be a Pokemon fan. Well, everyone, that is going to be it for today's Pokemon 25th Anniversary Direct Games discussion. Happy Pokemon Day, everyone, and if you guys did enjoy this video, first of all, please tell me what your thoughts were on the Pokemon 25th Anniversary Direct down in the comment section down below. And again, if you guys did enjoy the video, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications to never miss an upload, as well as share these videos out to my friends so they can come here and join me for my journey. Please also go follow me on my social media, on Twitter if you guys want to see more of me, and please go follow me on my Twitch if you want to see me do some Let's Plays and have a really fun overall time over there. We have a very fun time over on my Twitch. Which, again, my name is Zonalith, and I will catch you guys next time for more videos.